Let's prove De Moivre's theorem using Euler's theorem or Euler's theorem. Euler's theorem states e to the power i theta equal to cos theta plus i sin theta. Fine. And what about De Moivre's theorem? Well, We'll state, uh, let's state it. De Moivre's theorem states cos theta plus i sin theta whole thing to the power n equal to cos n theta plus i sin n theta. Okay, so we have stated uh, Moivre's theorem, De Moivre's theorem, and Euler's theorem. Now let's try to obtain De Moivre's theorem from Euler's theorem. Well, it's pretty simple. First of all, we have by De Moivre's theorem e to the power i theta equal to cos theta plus i sin theta. Let's raise it to the power n both sides. n may be a rational number or even a real number e to the power i theta to the power n equal to cos theta plus i sin theta to the power n. Okay. Now by law of indices, e to the power i theta to the power n, that is your left hand side, is just e to the power i n theta. How did we get? Well, powers can be multiplied uh, by the law of indices. And right inside, let's just write it as, as it is. Now, lastly, again we apply Euler's theorem e to the power i n theta to the left hand side. This is our e to the power i n theta, but that's just equal to cos n theta just let's change the color first uh, e to the power i n theta that we can regard it as another number n theta can be regarded as another number and by uh, Euler's theorem e to the power i theta equal to cos theta but your theta is n theta here plus i sine theta what we do we apply the Euler's theorem and so this power can be written as just uh, cos uh, e to the power i z can be written as cos z plus i sin z, let's say. How did we get it? We get it from Euler's theorem. We have just copied the number. That is our left hand side, whatever right hand side, right hand side is. Let's copy as it is cos theta plus i sin theta whole thing to the power n. Wow, we got De Moivre's theorem.